Hi everyone, um, I'm doing a very important video. I wasn't going to make this video, but um, I really feel that I need to talk about this because of how it's affecting my life. Uh, most importantly, my um, my sleep. I'm having nightmares literally every other night about the individuals who have been harassing me on social media for the last few months. People are aware of what's going on. Um, friends of mine and family members have spoken about this, but it really is important that I talk about this because I am the victim of this harassment, um, mostly. Um, firstly, I just want to talk about what's been going on. So for the last few months, this has been happening mostly on Facebook and, and Twitter and YouTube in relation to an ongoing uh, case, um, things that I've been accused of, which I completely deny. And it's just got absolutely crazy in the last few months to the point where I've had to go to the guards, I don't know, possibly four or five times. And there is uh, an investigation as we're speaking to this. There's been literally, I think, a thousand pages that have been gathered, a thousand pages yeah. of harassment um, by two individuals who have basically called on other people to harass me also. Um, far right have gotten involved. They've, they've given out information about my home, um, shown photos of my home, myself. Um, I've had death threats, burn her in a fire hundreds, thousands of comments. It's just absolutely out of control. And then add to that the slander, the lies, you know, how they've torn my reputation to shreds. And this is all being permitted. You know, some stuff has come down off Facebook because, uh, you know, we've reported it and everything. But I have reached out to Women's Aid. Uh, my mother was a victim of domestic violence. And I always remember, you know, as a child, how awful that was. And this has brought back all that trauma. It has triggered everything again. And on top of that, you know, people seem to think that violence against women is just about being beaten up and all that. I can tell you something and ask any survivor, including my mother, whom I love very dearly, that, you know, bruises fade, broken bones heal, but the mental scars don't. And mental abuse is the worst of all. And this is what I am dealing with right now. It's real violence towards women because what I'm going to talk to you about will prove that. So on September the 3rd, um, a video was made by one of these people. They're men. I'm not naming them because of the case and because of the investigation with the Guardian. But a video was made. It was 17 minutes, 50 seconds long. And it was a Facebook Live came out of the blue and um, I haven't actually watched this video fully until today because I haven't had the strength to do it. I've seen clips and you know pretty bad stuff but last night I had most awful nightmares again. I seem to wake up during the night and um, these individuals are in my nightmares. You know, just to let you know that because some of the comments you make, made in this video which I'm going to read out you talk about that and um, well done for doing that you know thanks very much I'm a mother to five kids to autistic children have to get up for school in the morning you know now I can't sleep properly because of your harassment you've done that so well done you've achieved that you should be proud of yourself and um, this video was basically it's like a terrorist actually talking you know that from the start to the finish it's just like something you'd see from a terrorist, you know, somebody threatening somebody in the most horrendous way. And his wife walks into the room and she's listening to him abusing a woman, you know, real abuse. And you, you'll hear what he has said about me and his children in the house as well. Very concerning that someone could actually sit down, make a video with such uh, violence and such violent words and think that's okay. If somebody actually thinks that's okay and they have children in the house, then no. That's not okay. Um, now, the video is down because it was up there not for very long, I think eight hours or something. Um, Facebook removed it because it was so bad. You know, Facebook don't remove much. They haven't removed their other posts like where they're rape shaming me and saying the most disgusting, lying, ableist comments about me. I'm autistic. I was diagnosed um, six years ago and I have autistic children. So they also throw that in my condition, you know, the lunatic, you know, she needs to be taken under control. It's just disgusting. Actually, do you know what? I've had a lot of abuse from quacks because I campaigned against quack treatments over the last six years, but I've never seen anything like this in my life. I don't, I don't know how anyone could be capable of such um, depravity, vulgarity. 
And the terrible thing is, these two men present themselves as wonderful, respectable men. Family men. One of them has run the election several times, most recently in the EU elections. My goodness. You know, if you want to run again, just remember the video is there. You know, people can see that video. The video is on the internet. It doesn't go away. So when you make those comments and you make those words, they don't go away. Okay? So these men think they're wonderful to be doing this. They're proud of it. They're proud of it. Terrorizing and harassing a mother. You know, that I can't sleep. I'm sure that makes you happy listening to that now, doesn't it? Anyway, I've been mulling this over and thinking, how, how do I cope with this? You know, how does anyone cope with this? Because I am a strong woman. I'm a strong woman to be standing up to bullies and quacks and the far right. But I decided, I have a very good friend, he's been helping me. I'm not going to name her, but you know who you are, I love you. And um, I don't have to take it. And actually, if I don't speak out about, about this, I am taking it. Ignoring it doesn't make it go away. It doesn't make that feeling go away. And why should I be ashamed of saying that this upsets me? Why should women feel that? Why should we have to bottle it up, you know? I think the best thing to do is out them, ladies. That's what I think. Because this is violence towards women. And social media are permitting it. And there are no laws there. When I rang Women's Aid, I have, I'm a story of hundreds of thousands of women, women in the same situation with violent partners threatening them on Facebook, abusing them. And it's fine. And none of the politicians here seem to care about it. You know, those women getting rape threats, death threats. If women have an opinion, we're not allowed an opinion. We should be put in our place, you know? The man of the house needs to take her under control now. She's gone too far. And with the far right growing and with ignorant TDs in this country who don't want women to have equal rights or control over their bodies, we're going back to the dark ages. And it's true. And we need to do something about it. So I'm going to use my harassment case as an example of why I want things to change. I want legislation brought in to protect women from violence online. Not just being beaten up, but mental abuse and mental torture which is what this is. So this story is real. This is what was said to me on the 3rd of September. And if you think this is okay, what I'm going to read out to you, which is a basic commentary from this man, um, then there's something wrong with you. If you think it's okay for a man to talk about anyone like this, but you see, these men, these men don't do this to men. They don't, you see, they target women. Because I've seen many men give out to these men about what they're doing to me. And you know what? They say nothing. Not a word. My goodness. And I've seen them get some pretty nasty comments. And they say nothing. But they're capable of this. And this is violence towards women. And I don't know what's going to come of the situation with the Guardian. I've done everything that I was meant to do. But I am not going to be told to be quiet about this anymore, whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing, because I am suffering because of this harassment and I need to get a good night's sleep. So I've watched this video twice and I actually feel better already because you know what? I realised something after watching this video, how pathetic this man is and how much he is afraid, very afraid that he has to resort to this kind of depravity and that he does that with an earshot of his wife and his children. Makes you a very bad person. Anyway, I'm going to get on with the show. Which is what this is. It's like something that you could never even believe could happen. So this happened on the 3rd of September. So basically the video in question had over a thousand, sorry, a hundred shares. So this is really important. It was shared by 100 people in that short period of time. I think there was 107 shares, actually. Over 6,000 views of me being abused, harassed in the most vile way. And over 600 comments, mostly abusive comments, okay? So that was in a short period of time because the video did come down. Facebook did their, did their job that time, actually. Um, so basically, 
I've, I've kind of I've separated it up into the abusive comments and the threats. OK, because this is an easy thing. So I'm going to call out the um, abusive comments first. So he called me a tramp, a C-U-N-T, a lunatic, a yoke, not a lady, a red haired witch, a ginger muck savage, a tomcat. My husband has no balls, so I'm basically a male, a dirty, low lying liar, a crazy bitch. God love my children, the ginger witch. The bitch is like a cancer that's got under my skin. I need to be sectioned. The red yolk, the smelly old thing. Really? Smelly old thing. Then here's the kind of threats that this person made to me. I'm coming for you. This bitch has me chewing antidepressants. She's pushed my buttons. Um, he will keep harassing me, making more videos. The bitch will not get an inch of sleep. Well, when done, well done, because guess what? You've actually achieved that. Pat yourself on the back, okay? Let me tell you this, Fiona, oh lunatic. I'm coming after you. You've picked on the two wrong men. I'm going to get judgments on everything that you own, including my car. And he's going to clamp my car. I'm not finished yet. This is the worst thing, actually. He has um, spoken about my mother. She's 81 years old. When my old one pops her clogs, he will take my mother's home. And divide it with the other guy who's harassing me. You dirty lowlife. Um, I'm a man-hater and a lying tramp. Whatever I own or have, I will make sure that I get it. Seize anything I ha he can get. Even my musical instruments. He'd be doing a world a favour. He's heard me singing and goes on to mock me singing. Now, Fiona, you've been warned. Myself and this other guy, we try to be nice because we know... You are a lunatic. Hasn't your husband got any control over you? Well, just think about that, ladies. Really, I really like my husband needs to get a leash for me now. I must be putting a leash. I'm just too much of a C U N T. The guards can call every day of the week. It will only encourage him to attack me even more on any occasion that he can. Wait till I'm finished with you. You'll know what nothing is. I'm coming for you, witchy poo, and I will suffer the consequences. So, that was what he said about me in that video. Now, that's just one video. There's been loads of videos. Loads of videos by the other guy. Similar kind of threatening behaviour, but not as aggressive. And he's definitely a little bit more polite. I'll give you that much. I am not taking this anymore. You know, if I ignore this, I'm allowing these men to bully me and harass me. And I am encouraging by ignoring this disgusting behaviour. They think it's OK. Well, it's not OK. And like, I have five kids who talk about my children. My beautiful children. You brought them into this disgusting attack. You know, you really are a disgusting person. But you know what we tell our kids? It's not to, not to be bullied. Stand up to bullies. We tell them that, don't we, as parents? Don't be bullied. Don't tolerate bullying. Always stand up. So if I don't stand up, what's the point? You'd be telling my children that bullying is wrong. This is not just about me. This is about my mother. It's about all the women that are victims of harassment and abuse. Because this is violence towards women. You know, whether it's happening at my door, they're doing this online. No, it's worse. Do you know why it's worse? Because they're doing this publicly on public forums and they're getting people to join them in their threats. Yeah, let's take her home. Let's put her on a fire. Send her back to where she comes from. You know, she should be locked up. She should have her kids taken away. She deserves to be raped. This is what I have to put up with because of these two people doing this. Now they're out there thinking that they're great, big, brave men. Just let me close on this because you say in your video you've messed with the wrong men. Well, guess what? I am a woman that will not tolerate your harassment. And I've worked very hard and so has my husband and other friends and family in the last few weeks to make sure that this is stopped and that you will be held accountable for what you've done. So I've been very busy doing that. I'm not afraid of you. 
I'm not afraid of your threats. I've done nothing wrong and I'm not taking your abuse anymore, okay? Now, the video's there. Everything that I've read out here in this video is 100% true. I took the time to transcribe the video because it's important. Now, I hope by doing this video, I will get a better night's sleep tonight because I'm really tired. I'm really tired of not getting proper sleep and having nightmares. And that's one of the reasons why I've done this. And I've also done this because I'm calling on our government to do something about this online harassment towards women. It has to stop. Nobody should be allowed to have a social media page if they're going to do this. They should be booted and banned for life. He got a week, I think. It's not enough. So that's what I'm trying to do today with this video. And to tell these two men that I'm not going to stop speaking out. And I'm not going to take your crap anymore. Thanks for watching and share this video. If you support women, share this video if you want to end the harassment and violence towards women. Thank you.